Welcome back to another episode of Comms 101. My name's Rob, and sorry it's been a while. I know you guys have been really disappointed in my uh, regularity with episodes, but, well, life. So today I am back with a, a new kit that I've, I'll say, just finished. I've had this rack for a while, but I've, I've really kind of finished it uh, for a job coming up for the show um, World of Concrete in Las Vegas in a couple weeks. And the task was to give talent communications to five wireless mics out on um, a competition floor. So this episode is about talent comms, um, but Rob, that's not really comms, that's more of just audio stuff. Oh, nay, nay. I'd say that talent comms are the most important difference in between a show going where the producer wants it to go or needs it to go and a show just going willy-nilly without a rudder wherever it wants to go. So the talent being able to talk to the producer and the producer being able to talk to the talent while the watching public at home, the audience never knows. This I'll go through the the rack and what we have here, and um, you may get more about what I mean. So right now I have a uh, Lectrosonics Venue 2 that is um, been programmed for five mics and talkback. Five microphones was what the client wanted, and then this six-space or six slot receiver has a talkback channel. Um, I've got a, a handheld, oops, handheld microphone here. And uh, you're going to, hey, hey, see what audio looks like, even though you can't hear it on channel three, I'm talking into the microphone, right? So you can actually see the audio, even though I don't have an audio mixer here, you can see the audio coming out of channel three. And this is what would be going over the air if the mixer has it potted up. Now, this microphone has a button on it. Let's see if I can find it in the camera here. There it is. A button on the stick. And when I press the button, watch channel six. Oops, my cue box is turned up way too loud. So, button, 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 button. If you notice, channel three is muted and channel six has audio coming out of it. I have a little speaker over there that lets me make audio for testing. Make audio for testing, right? So five microphones that will be handed off to the mixer and then a talkback output, which will be handed to the producer. And then down here on these uh, bars that are jumping all the time, I've got some music playing off of a computer and it's going into belt packs that are receiving that. This is a stereo belt pack made by Electrosonics, fed by, let's see, this is channel uh, two. So these should correlate channel two to channel two, all right? So now you say, okay, Rob, this is microphones and in-ear receivers. I don't see anything special. Well, talent comms, involves the producer talking to the, or the talent talking to the producer and the producer talking to talent. So this talkback switch on the, on the microphone here is the way that the talent talks to the producer off air. And then the producer talks back to the talent off air in his ear. So I've got music, which is right now representative of the uh, program. Right, so let's see if I can do that. Okay, now watch channel one go away. Look, it dropped right out. Channel two is is still existing because uh, that is beneficial. That's in his right ear, and channel one has gone away. Channel one has gone away because I am interrupting him with this Studio Technologies Model 348. Now I'm going to let up and let's see if I can focus there. I'm going to let up and the, the audio is restored. I have interrupted the program source, right? Now watch this. Watch channel one on uh, the first receiver. It's interrupted. 
channel one on the second, channel one on the third, and this is how broadcast talent is expecting to be fed. The producer in his left ear and the show in his right ear. Now, I've kind of run out of space here, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a hack. I'm going to press button four on my uh, Model 348, and look, channel one goes away. Okay, Rob, that's exactly what you showed me on everything else. But now I've got a pack, and I think this is, okay, this is pack number four. Watch this. When I press four, all of it goes away. And I do pack number five. And this one, in this way, I've gotten four stereo IFBs to give me five talents worth of, of IFBs. Um, and that is, uh, I, that says, well, Rob, couldn't you do this with up to eight? Yes, I could, but this job only wants five. So I'm giving them full broad, four, three, I'm sorry, three full broadcast quality IFBs. And two of them are a little bit inferior and they're getting mono IFBs. So this is my, uh, RF rack. I'll go through the antennas real quick. Um, these are all RF venue, uh, CP beam collapsible, um, helical beam antennas. And then, uh, let's see, electrosonic HHA microphones with, uh, mic flag extenders and M2T transmitter, stereo IFB transmitter and M2R IEM IFB receivers. I uh, love to hear you guys ask questions and uh, hope you found this helpful. All right. Have a good one.